Not all works were created equal, and as they say, the road to hell was paved with good intentions. A bit exaggerated, maybe, but there is a precarious balance surrounding amphetamines. Most of you will know amphetamines as a perfectly safe and legal drug used to treat several medical conditions. In children, no less, it can be used to treat ADHD, can be used to treat obesity or narcolepsy. But unfortunately, amphetamines also have a much darker side. There are several types which are illegal, dangerous and highly addictive. So in today's video, we will cover amphetamines. We will cover their origin, what they are, their effects, long-term effects and much, much more. And these videos are meant so you get medically informed, so you can make healthier decisions yourself and you know what you get yourself into. So sit back, relax, make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information and let's get started. And let's start with the origin of amphetamines, which starts about 5000 years ago in China. There grew a plant called ephedra, which contained the amphetamine-like stimulant ephedrine. At that time, this plant was already used by the local population for its effects. If we fast forward to 1885 in Japan, that was the first time ephedrine was isolated from the plant. And this was done for study purposes to see if it had medical properties. In the years to come, scientists were also able to synthesize amphetamine and from 1933 onwards, it was sold as a drug to potentially treat a wide variety of medical conditions like narcolepsy, obesity, low blood pressure, chronic pain and ADHD in children. Interestingly, up until the 1960s and 70s, the addictive properties of amphetamines were mostly unknown, but from that point onwards they were known and governments started to place strict controls on the usage of amphetamines. By now, amphetamines can only be received with a doctor's prescription and in fact there are several types of amphetamine which are completely illegal. This led to a surge in the usage of illegal amphetamines. And in Europe, about 12 million people from the age 15 to 64 have used amphetamines or metaphetamines at least once in their lives. And about 1.7 million people have used it last year. These numbers are huge, but I want to give you a further grasp on the size of its market. Just to paint the picture, in 2012, approximately 5.9 metric tons of illicit amphetamines were seized within the borders of the European Union which has a street price of 6 to 38 euros per gram. Now, in general, there are four types of amphetamines. Amphetamine, which is called speed, uppers, gooey, louis or whiz. Dextroamphetamine, which is called dexies, giddy speed, bad pills, uppers or black beauty when it is combined with amphetamine. There is methamphetamine, which is available in crystal solid form. This is called crystal, meth, base, demeth, fast, glass, ice, and there is methamphetamine in a liquid form. This is called Leopard's blood, liquid red, ox blood and red speed. Now all these types of amphetamine together can be used as a tablet, capsule, paste, crystal, liquid or powder. And therefore it can be used by swallowing it, dabbing it onto the gums, smoking, snorting or injecting it. Now all these types of amphetamines are stimulant drugs. They work by increasing the concentration of dopamine and noradrenaline in your central nervous system. Both are neuromodulatory molecules, which affect the reward system in your brain, your thinking, mood and movement. Depending on the type and the blend of amphetamine you're using, its strength, the dose you take, if you're combining its usage with other drugs, your genetics, your tolerance and how you're taking it, amphetamine will work immediately or within 30 minutes. And it has several short-term effects. A burst of energy, which will make you talkative, restless and exciting. Feelings of euphoria. Feelings as if your thinking is extremely clear. An accelerated heart rate and breathing rate. High blood pressure. A dry mouth. Jaw clenching. Sweating. Dilated, large pupils. Loss of appetite. Increased libido. And nosebleeds if you snort it. Which brings us to some important health risks for those of you using amphetamines. First of all, if you're using it, especially in a high dosage, or if you have been using it for several days in a row, a binge crash might occur. And you might experience extreme exhaustion, requiring a lot of sleep, headaches, muscle twitches, irritability, mood swings, depression, paranoia, hallucinations, confusion, and there is a risk for using other drugs to cope with this crash. 
Furthermore, there's always the risk on the nerve attacks, especially when you're using high dosages, you're combining amphetamines with other drugs, if you're not used to using amphetamines, then please be careful. An overdose is always a medical emergency, as it can lead to a stroke, heart attack, and even death. And when dealing with an overdose, fast actions can save someone's life. Therefore, it is also important you are able to recognize the symptoms of an overdose. These symptoms might be breathing difficulties, seizures, chest pain, a very fast heart rate, chills, fever, no urine output, extreme agitation like aggression, paranoia, hallucinations, or delusion. And again, if you recognize any of these symptoms, then please contact your doctor, call 911 or any other emergency hotline. As you might see now, amphetamine usage is not without risk, and you might start to reflect now on your own usage. Well, let me tell you, the best time to quit is always today. So please contact your doctor so he or she can help you with quitting. Which brings us to the next important topic, potential long-term health risk when using amphetamines. And as you might guess, indeed, the usage of amphetamines can lead to serious health problems, such as psychosis, extreme weight loss, malnutrition, dental problems, regular infections, mood swings, panic attacks, anxiety, depression, drug dependence, aggression, heart and kidney problems, and financial work, study, legal and relationship problems. In a nutshell, as with any serious addiction, amphetamine can indeed lead to serious health complaints and simply destroy someone's life. So please be careful. Which brings us to the last topic of this video, the difference between legal amphetamines and illegal amphetamines. First of all, legal amphetamines are used with the input of a medical professional and used only to treat a specific medical condition. Illegal amphetamines are used for recreational purposes or to boost performance. And therefore, legal amphetamine is sold by a pharmacist, but illegal amphetamines are sold by a drug dealer. Besides the legal risk, the illegal amphetamines are not tested, they could be cut with other drugs, or they could have the wrong dose, which all can be dangerous. And lastly, the illegal forms of amphetamines are designed to greatly increase the stimulant effects it can have. This increases the potential positive effects, but also the negative effects and the potential health risk. This is especially true when used often, used in a high dose, or used by snorting, smoking, or injecting it. Now, I hope you know now everything you want to know about amphetamines. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. And if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This will help out your channel tremendously, and in return, you will get notified each week with a new awesome video. For those of you that can't get enough, check out the playlist in the description with more awesome videos or check out the Tic Tac, Instagram, Facebook channel or I see you at Patreon. Thank you all so much and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye and stay safe.